Now to campaign 2020. The latest CBS News battleground tracker poll in Florida shows the presidential race tightening in our hugely important state. Democratic candidate Joe Biden leads President Trump by two points, 48 to 46 percent among likely voters. CBS 4's Manuel Bajorquez is in Key Biscayne with more. At this Honk for Trump event in Central Florida, organizers point to the number of honks as proof the president's support is on the rise. Judging from what we see from passing people, we get about 90% support from passing cars. Among white Floridians, President Trump has a 22-point edge, according to the new battleground tracker poll of likely voters. I agree with his policies. I, I believe he's very much more fit to uh, run this country than uh, Joe Biden is personally. Go vote, guys. But to clinch the state, the president may need to win back support from voters like Dave Santorelli, who's not sure he'll vote for Donald Trump again. I don't like how he is on social media. You know, everyone that's against him, he always has to blast them. You know, and I don't think that's a proper way of going about things. In Florida, the president's signature style is among the factors costing him support. It's sad to see how divided we've become. He didn't unify the nation. You know, he should have came on early, said, hey, we have to wear a face mask. That's the only thing we have against us right now to, to help us. Among Hispanic voters, Joe Biden has a 20-point edge, but still less than Hillary Clinton received in 2016. A group calling itself Cubans with Biden is honking horns too, trying to make gains in Miami's Cuban-American community, where support for Democrats can be a hard sell. At Coco Cuts Barbershop, Cuban-American Angel Alvarez explained. All my family going to vote for Trump. Um, maybe he's, uh, maybe some, maybe he makes some mistakes. Uh, nobody's perfect, but to me, he's defending our freedom, our rights. We need to be free. We don't want communists here. We are Americans. 2017's Hurricane Maria, which heavily damaged the American Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, may also impact Florida's vote. Tens of thousands of displaced Puerto Ricans resettled here and were met by volunteers. They had arrived here and they have become active part of our communities. For people gathering to commemorate the third anniversary of the hurricane in Kissimmee, the emphasis was also on voting. We need to come out and vote. We need to come out. This election is one of the most important for the people for the Hispanic people, for the minority people. Still, it's the economy that looms large. Florida's unemployment rate quadrupled over the past year. I'm a furloughed person, um, like so many others in Central Florida. Um, so, yeah, we are all concerned on when our jobs are going to come back. It's worth noting the economy is still showing up as a win for President Trump here in Florida, with 44 percent of respondents saying he would help their family's financial situation, as opposed to 34 percent who give the nod to Joe Biden. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Miami.